You don't have hope again in your life, in your marriage. You don't have hope that your children will become something on earth. That the God will make a nation out of you, out of your husband, your wife, your children, your mother. The word of God said it will happen. Seek my kingdom first. All other things will come to power. Jesus will make it happen. I know my girl, Jesus of Nazareth. He never changed. He never disappointed. He remained the same. He remained the same. There is nothing like partiality in the sight of God. He blessed those he desired to bless. The word of God says, seek my kingdom first. All of that thing will be added to you. The enemies trouble you. Stand like an evil continue in your life. Swear that they will monitor whatever you do on earth. That you will never make it. Jesus said to them, seek my kingdom, you will make it. I will crush your enemy. Jesus said to them, I will be a, a protector to you. And I will fight those who fight against you. Contend with those who contend against you. As long as you seek my kingdom first. As long as you allow my kingdom become your first desire. As long as you allow my kingdom to become your first choice on earth. To become your first choice on earth. I will make it happen. That is the word of God. The word of God says you will make it happen. You are confused. You could not afford the money to finish your school. You could not afford your school fees. You could not afford the money for your project. You could not afford the money to sponsor your children to university or to train them or to support them in their business. The word of God says, seek my kingdom first. I will provide that money. I will give you money to train your children. I will give you money to support your children, support your brothers and sisters. Seek my kingdom first. All other things will be added to you. Simple as ABC. Seek my kingdom first. All other things will be added to you. He will give you money to sponsor your children. He will support you. He will support your academy. He will provide the money for your school fees, for your project. He will provide the money that will make you to become one of the greatest man in your city, in your country, everywhere. He will make you the head, not the tail. Seek my kingdom. Okay? He will make you the first, not the last. Seek my kingdom first. All the other things will be added to you. Allow the world to have fruit in your life. Allow the world to live in you. It shall be well with you. Seek my kingdom first. All the other things will be added to you. It's a great war. It's a marvelous war. It's a world of encouragement. The world for those who have lost hope in their life. He will bring hope in you. He will bring hope in you. Jesus will bring hope. He will establish you. He will increase your hope. He will increase your faith. But seek my kingdom first. All other things will be added to you. Anointing, the gift of God will be given to you. You will have company on your own when you see the kingdom of God first. You will be popular. You will be a star all over the world when you see the kingdom of God first. All of that thing will be added to you. That you have dreaming many years ago will come to reality when you see the kingdom of God first. All of that thing will be added to you. He will help you. He will do great and marvelous things. The Lord will give you the help of the Holy Spirit when you seek his kingdom. He will give you the help of the Holy Spirit so that you will never be alone. So that your children will never be alone. The help of Holy Spirit will protect and catch you. Whatever you lay your hand block, nothing is moving in your life. Nothing is going in your life. The word of God is speaking to you, brothers and sisters. Mom and father, seek my kingdom first. Things will begin to move in your life. Seek my kingdom first. You will begin to see progress and peace. You begin to see the restoration of Jesus in your life, in the life of your children. Your brother, the sister of your father, the brothers of your sister, or your friends, tie your attention or the attention of your children, bury them or throw the key inside the water, inside the big ocean. Swear, monitor them that they will never prosper. But Jesus are talking to you today. Seek my kingdom first. Your children will prosper. Your mother, your father will prosper. They swear to keep your father or your mother, brothers or sister on the sick bed. Jesus are talking to you today. Seek my kingdom. The sick bed will be free from your brothers and sisters, your mother. Because sick bed are not made for death. Jesus said, Seek my kingdom first. All other things will be added to you. I will free them. I will bring joy and healing in their life. Seek my kingdom first. Everything will be added to you. The word of God says, Every time you come to your soul, you begin to perceive evil spirit. You begin to perceive confusion. You begin to perceive extraordinary 
Satan in your shell. Darkness will cover you. But Jesus are talking to you today. Seek my kingdom first. All those things will disappear. You will never notice it again. Because the battle belongs to me. The battle belongs to the Lord. I will fight for you, said the Lord. Keep only keep still and watch and see the Lord give you victory. The darkness, the extraordinary negative power in your life will disappear. Your business will disappear. The canker wants and caterpillar that eating up your blessing will disappear. As long as you seek the kingdom of God first, all of that thing will be added to you. Great and mighty thing will begin to happen in your life. Great and mighty thing will begin to happen in the life of your children, your mother, your father. Great and mighty thing will begin to happen in your business, in your academic. Great and mighty thing will begin to happen in your womb. Everywhere you go, you will prosper. As long as you seek the kingdom of God. The word of God says, seek my kingdom first. All of that thing, you are in prison. Yeah? You have repent. You have decided that maybe you, you don't have hope in prison. You don't have hope where the enemy puts you inside the prison. Nobody is fighting for you. No lawyer. None of even your parents, your brothers don't have the knowledge that you are there. The Lord said, I have the knowledge. I know who you are. Seek my kingdom in, inside the prison. You will see my glory. I will rescue you. I will come for your rescue. I will deliver you. I will free you. I will fight for you. I will appoint a royal for you to deliver you from prison. To deliver you. As long as you see the kingdom of God first. You will see the glory of God. You will see the glory of God. You will see the glory of God. The Lord of setting back will turn to pieces. And apart your name will no longer be in there. But it will be the name of your enemies as long as you say the kingdom of God. You know, I love to speak Igbo because Igbo is good to speak and to be proud of your mother's language. You know, I am proud of my mother's language. Anywhere I go, all over the world, I am proud of my mother's language. The word of God says, say the kingdom of God fair. Say the kingdom of God fair. All of that thing will be added to you. You will see the glory. You will see the light. You will be a light wherever you go. No darkness will overcome you. No darkness will stand before the glory of God. I love that word. I love that word. See the kingdom. The pastor, see the kingdom of God first. Mm -hmm. Eleven, see the kingdom of God first. Bishop, see the kingdom of God first. I want you to seek that kingdom. That is important. That is the most important thing in your life. Ask Bishop, seek the kingdom of God first. In Pope, remember to seek the kingdom of God. You are Pope does not mean anything in the sight of the Mosah. If you see the kingdom of God first, if you repent, if you change, you can have a place in the kingdom of God. That is a memorial title. That is ordinary title. Pastor, Reverend Sister, that is mammy title. You know? I have nothing to do in the sight of God. But Jesus is interested in your soul. That is why he's talking to you today. Seek my kingdom first. All other things will be added to you. People can worship you because of the title of Pope in your life. Because of the title of Pastor, Reverend Father, Bishop. People can worship you because of the title of evangelist, whatever. We talk you are the king or you are pleasant or you are the governor's but the word of God warning you that those things is said uh, end up on earth. It have nothing to do with God. It have nothing to do with the kingdom of God. The word of God said, seek my kingdom. All of that thing will be added to you. You will see my glory. You will see my power. You will receive my healing. As long as you see the kingdom of God, you have been in that company many years. They promote the new people every time, but you have never received promotion. Just accept this word. See the kingdom of God within three months, within two months, within one month, three weeks, you will receive promotion. I am Pastor Melako, the slave of the word of God, the slave of the power that rose on the Jesus from the dead, the slave of the blood Jesus, she cross of Calvary, the slave of the power that raised Jesus from the dead. Any time. If I come out for you, if I have time for you, the devil will run away. Your enemy will bow down. I am a different pastor. And like I say, like, yeah, I am a different pastor with a different mission, with a different assignment of the most I God. Call to 
collect you and put you live. To make sure you see the kingdom of God. To make sure you secure a place in the kingdom of God. To make sure you accept the salvation of Jesus. To make sure that the devil will never declare himself a winner in your life. But Jesus will win the devil in your life. See the kingdom of God. You will see the glory. You will see the power of the Most High. None that the word of God have already made it clear to me that no power under the water under the earth. In first seven and second heaven will stand before his glory, his power in my life. But if you thought that you can stand before that power that led Jesus from the dead in my life, I love challenges. God I love challenges. God Without challenge, the name of Jesus will never be glorified. Jesus said it plain. Without challenge, his name will never be glorified. I love challenges all the days of my life because without challenge, I will never prove people that I'm serving the living God. I love my God and I determine to die for the sake of the word of God. The son of man must surely pass many things on air. Whether I like it or not, I must undergo what God wants me to undergo on earth. I cannot stop the will of God. But the will of God must surely come to pass. That is what I want you to imitate. That no one can stop the will of God in your life. But what God wants you to undergo, wants you to achieve, wants you to do on earth, you will do it. Pastor Melako, the servant of the Most High God, have sent the word of God to you. Accept it and receive it. Open your heart. Open your body to the Savior. You will see the glory of God. The verse that say, seek the kingdom of God first. All other things will be added to you. God bless you. And peace of God be unto you. For those who put this word into practice in their life, in their marriage, in whatever they do on earth, in their family, it shall be well with them. Both spiritual and physical. In the name of Jesus. I soak you. Soak whatever you lay your hand with the blood of Jesus. Soak your soul and your family and your children. Spiritual and physical with the blood of Jesus. Declare that it shall be well with you. As long as you seek the kingdom of God first, it shall be well with you. God bless you.